I uh, I don't know if it's <clears throat> I don't know if it's safe to make this video. To be honest, um, I'm, I'm making it now, but at any moment now, or when I'm editing, or when it releases, there could be a Woj or a Shams bomb that just completely wrecks this video, makes it out of date. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna make it. I'm, I'm gonna make it, but I don't feel great about it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video right here on my channel. I am Jay Canada, and boy, what a crazy weekend it was in the NBA, man. The off season, the quick off season, the season starts soon. It was under way this this weekend of course we had the draft last week and then yeah we had free agency we had trades we had so many moves so many teams doing things to try and juice their lineups for next year so i figured why not make a video on it as mentioned though there could be more news breaking at any time like anthony davis still hasn't signed we think we know he's going to the lakers but what if something crazy happens and i don't include him in my video i'm a little bit scared but there's been so many moves i figured i'm pretty safe making this video we've got a full lineup of players who have switched teams this offseason and let's go through through a player by player, starting with Chris Paul, who has been traded to the Phoenix Suns. That was a few days ago. We already knew, but maybe the most impactful single move in the offseason. The Suns also drafted Jalen Smith. Nice little prospect. 10th overall, I think. They added Jay Crowder, Etwan Moore. They lost some depth, Ricky Rubio, Aaron Baines, but the Suns will definitely be better with Chris Paul. Drew Holiday, of course, traded to Milwaukee for a million draft picks. Not a bad trade for the Pelicans. Milwaukee, they didn't get Bogdan Bogdanovich. That was a mess, but they did add DJ Augustine, Bobby Portis. They also lost a bunch of depth though. Eric Bledsoe, George Hill, Wes Matthews. I don't know how much better the Bucks are, although Drew Holiday is a stud. Gordon Hayward signed with the Charlotte Hornets. My guy, MJ, I'm not sure what you're doing. Hayward, way overpaid, but I guess not a lot of people are signing up to play in Charlotte. So they signed Gordon. Hopefully he rekindles some magic. They also drafted LaMelo Ball. The Lakers with my uh, front court duo here picked up Montrez Harrell on a veteran minimum, only like 9 million per year. It's crazy. He won six man last year. They also added Mark Gasol, which is a pretty good depth move, if you ask me. In addition, the Lakers also added Wes Matthews, Dennis Schroeder. Uh, they did lose a bunch of depth. Rajon Rondo, Danny Green, Dwight Howard, the list goes on. But overall, I think everybody agrees. Lakers got even better. To the bench, Seth Curry has been traded to the 76ers. Love that addition for Philly. Eric Bledsoe, of course, back to New Orleans, along with a million draft picks and Steven Adams to the New Orleans Pelicans. Danilo Gallinari signed by the Atlanta Hawks. I actually like that move. They also drafted did the Hawks on Yeka with the uh, six overall pick. He looks pretty good. They added Rajon Rondo, Chris Dunn, some more veteran leadership to go along with Trey Young. Christian Wood won a few moves the Houston Rockets have made because of course they haven't traded James Harden or Russell Westbrook, probably good by them. Christian Wood's a really nice little stretch for, um, not sure why Detroit let him go considering the moves they made, but Houston, good pickup. The Clippers, of course, lost Montrez Harrell. They, uh, they lost a lot of depth, including Austin Rivers, but they did add Serge Ibaka, a stretch five, also traded for Luke Kennard. So not a bad little offseason for the Clippers. I know the Lakers are getting a lot of praise, but I like what the Clippers did. Also, they drafted my boy Jay Scrub, who I am extremely excited for. And off the end of the bench, Jeremy Grant signed with Detroit. Good for Grant. Got his money. What is Detroit doing? They signed Jeremy Grant. They signed Mason Plumlee. They signed Jalil Okafor. Yeah, it was bad, bro. Aaron Baines signed by the Raptors. Maybe a slight bit, just a tiny bit overpaid. Aaron Baines is a nice player. The Raptors needed to replace uh, Marcus Gasol and Serge Ibaka. So pretty good signing. And finally, Dwight Howard, the enigma that is Dwight Howard, tweeted he was signing with the Lakers. Then like 20 minutes later, it was announced he signed with the 76ers. So yeah, that was kind of weird. But Dwight, you know, he's a fine player at this point. I really do love, as I mentioned, Seth Curry going to Philly. Also, they end up with Danny Green, more shooting. And they traded Al Horford, which gives Philadelphia the biggest dub of the offseason. Let me know who you think has done the best so far this offseason. I know there's still more moves that could come down, but plenty of movement thus far. Let me know who's taken a dub if you like what your team has done. Let me know down below in the comment section. Now, let me see if I can go take a W with this not so great team in 2K. All right, let's go. My opponent rocking the Clippers jerseys. Oh, that's a starter team. All right, all right. Even though my, oh, look at those Fire Raptors jerseys, by the way. Yeah, I applied them just for this video because they look amazing. I'm not sure. <laughs> I have no reason, but yeah, this dude might be bad, but I got to get this video out before Woj drops another bomb on me. So if this is a quick gameplay, like it is what it is. I, I'm in a hurry right now. I'll take that. What? Oh my. I had that pick and roll baited and they didn't let me steal it. Okay. 
Let's go Montrez Harrell underneath. Big finish. Big finish, Harrell. Yeah, gonna be doing that with the Lakers, baby. It's very possible this dude is better than I thought. I think he's running like a zone. He's doing something weird on defense. That is all that I know. Drew Holiday wide open. Perfect. Shot meter on. Yep, yep. That's what I'm doing today and it worked. I might actually need to set my freelance and stuff. I haven't I haven't done that yet because like I didn't think I had to, but maybe I do. That was a bad release by me. I should have some nice five out action now to combat his uh, his trash zone. Yes, sir. Fortunately, Montrez can't shoot, but he can drive. He, he can facilitate. But, oh, why, why was I so slow? I was trying to make a move there and it just did not work. Gordon Hayward, that'll work though. Please, baby. 120 mil Gordon Hayward. Beautiful. Oh, Drew Holiday. Okay. All right. Gives us back the lead. That was a really nice move. You better bring that to Milwaukee because uh, they want to impress Giannis, make him stay. All right. We got most of the bench in here. Trying to make subs in next gen is actually super annoying. They need to patch that. You need to be able to make big changes all at once. Um, It's all good though. He's still in this zone. Oh my goodness. My team is not very good and he's running his own, which means I have to make shots. This is not great, man. I did not want to have to sweat with this team, but uh, here, here we freaking are having to sweat. Come on, we're, we're into the paint. Yes, now, oh, easy. That's easy offense. I missed a shot, but okay. <laughs> These players can't pass. I got nobody with good passing abilities. Oh my goodness, this is bad. I'm getting exposed right now. Let's move the ball quickly. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to icon pass and it, <laughs> oh, this is, oh my goodness. Okay. I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to try running a trash zone too. I, he doesn't have a great team. So maybe he won't be able to shoot either. Like, I, I don't know what, oh, what, what, what? <sighs> What are we doing here? What are we doing? Oh, good steal. Come on, fast break, Eric Bledsoe, please finish this. Please finish. Well, free throws. I guess that's one way to get points and I can't get any other points any other way. So thank you very much. <laughs> this dude's just as baffled by my zone as uh, I am with his because he's got big men out here who can't shoot. It's so dumb, but like if he wants to play this way, then sure, I will too. And eventually I will make a shot. Eventually they have to let me make one shot. Like they, they just do, right? That's wide open Danilo. Come on, baby. Finally. Oh my word. I got to remember that these dudes have really slow jumpers too. Okay. Now that I figure out he can't score on me when I run his own, this is going to be a really lame end to the game. It's going to be ugly, but at least I think I can take a double you here need a good third quarter run and need to let him not make every shot 2k please Oh, all right. My zone just broke this guy. Um, He has 30 points. Hold on. I don't think he scored on me in that third quarter. I'm not joking. Hold on. First half, he had zero points in that third quarter. I mean, bro, 50 nothing. I just don't score him. Yeah, zone, that's just, it's some cheese. I'll bring my starters back in in a second. I, I can't blow this man out because I also can't really score in this game, but uh, at least I know I'm going to win now because uh, my defense has broken him. You can't shoot. Get out of here. What? I know Bobby Jones can't shoot. That is what 2K lets him hit. I mean, okay, I, I guess I guess it is what it is. That's a terrible shot by me. I will take that. What a bait. I'm baiting him so crazily out of this zone. Come on, Seth. Come on, Seth, baby. That's what he'll do for you, Philly. Big shot. Let's go, Eric Bledsoe, right to the rack. Beautiful, man. My bench killing it. Uh, I will have to take a time out, make some subs here, but let's keep this momentum rolling if we can, shall we? Oh, I just got dunked on. No, I didn't. Good defense, Danilo Gallinari. Kobe thought he had something there, but that's only Sapphire Kobe. He's not He's not as nice. And Bledsoe getting to the line. Perfect. Come on, starters. Let's close him out. I'm not, uh, I'm not running with Montrez Harrell because uh, I need five shooters out here, baby. Look at this. Wide open, Marcus Soul. This Emerald Marcus Soul card has been money since 2K21 dropped. I swear, he's still so good. Good steal, Chris Paul. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me get Chris Paul. I don't think I've hit a shot yet with him. Finally. Okay, I had. That was my second three with CP3. Beautiful step back in transition. Perfect. Look at CP3. Floor general point god, baby. Right outside to Jeremy Grant. That's why he's in there instead of Trez. And it's beautiful. That should have been a steal. He bricked it, though. 
All right, 2K's bailing him out now. Even with a nine, like a nine point lead isn't much, but I'm so confident I'm winning this game. Like I know it. And even if my team's selling on wide open full whites, I don't know. Oh, come on, my guy. You couldn't let me see the stats. Oh, that really sucks. I know Chris Paul had like 12 and 7 or 11 and 7, something like that. Led the team. Low scoring game. We move. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please let me know down below. I appreciate all the support as of late. This video was fun to make, obviously, lots of NBA offseason moves. So let me know what you thought of it and what you think of all this craziness and free agency. Be sure to drop a like. Be sure to also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I got plenty more NBA 2K21 next gen content on the way. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Jay Canada. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace.